team. We lost to the, the you know, 2000, 2000, 2001, 2002 Detroit Red Wings. What are you going to say about that? They had like eight Hall of Famers on their team. How many wins will NL get? Sure. 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 I pass. How about an alleged stinker? I watched Tenet because of you and I had to quit halfway through. Oh, so you saw the whole thing. Only, only real Tenet heads will understand this joke. Plus two, plus two. Look at it, look at it. How do you feel now? You disagreed with my take on cinema? Look at how many plus twos I'm getting. My God, that's like the most I've ever seen. My, my word. It's a feeling of incredible power. Okay, give me some stats. Give me some of this. I just don't care about a frilled dragon here, to be honest. No, I really like Tenet. Somebody made fun of me for calling it uh, Nolan's masterpiece. And I got to agree, I think that's very make fun of bull. Uh, bull. Very make fun of uh, bull. I think it's definitely a minority take. It's not something that people, most people would probably say, I don't know, maybe Inception, maybe The Dark Knight Rises, maybe Interstellar. Something about Tenet, it wormed its way into my brain. Maybe because it makes no sense, so it... It begs to be tossed around in the old cerebellum for a little bit. The Prestige, also a great movie. Hey, the, you know, I forgot about The Prestige. Oh, sorry, did I say Dark Knight Rises? I meant The Dark Knight, come on. You've heard me talk about The Dark Knight Rises. Fishy Hat, thank you for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I forgot about Memento, too. What about Insomnia? Al Pacino? This sun. This sun is no good. Great movie. One of these? We can try, but if we're... <sighs> we can try. We should buy a croissant. It's just a good scaler if we have to keep a unit around. And then I'm like, let's let's get you ready to go. Get maybe cookies, some salads. I don't know. We might because we we'll want to pivot as soon as. Okay, I'm I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling not so bad about this. Let's try something like like this. This is a three team. This team's not that bad. It's not. We don't have an identity yet, but it's not that bad. What's a worse sequel? Meet the Fockers or The Dark Knight Rises? Well, I mean like. Meet the Fockers is actually just not a good movie. Like, it's... It's like a four. Meet the Parents? You can make fun of me for this take all you like. Meet the Parents is actually like an eight. If, if you haven't seen it in a while, you should watch it. Just because it's like a, it's good for general audience. I, I actually think Meet the Parents is a comedy classic. I think it could make a list of the top 15 comedies from the 2000s. You know, hold on. Let me, bring, me, bring me to Twitch. Uh, bring me to Google Chrome. Top 20 comedies of the 2000s. Okay, let, let's just find an unbiased list, okay? IMDB. No, the way this is not. I, I need to find like a blogger. 50 must-see Comedies from the 2000s. No, no, no. Screenrant.com. Here we go. 10 funniest comedies from the 2000s, according to Ranker. Okay, why wouldn't I just go to Ranker, I guess? But number 10, Super Troopers. Five out of 10. Number nine, Old School. I'm going to give that a, a six and a half with a caveat that it has not aged well. Number eight, Meet the Parents. I'm going to give that an eight. Meet the Parents is a 2000 comedy. We know this. Many consider Meet the Parents to be one of Ben Stiller's best films of all time as his comedic stylings paired with De Niro's excellent reputation as the straight man mix quite nicely. The films proved popular enough to warrant two sequels in 04 and 2010 respectively, though neither were well received. True, true. 
Seven, Wedding Crashers. I'm going to give that a seven. Dodgeball, a true underdog story is six. I'm going to give that a six and a half. Five is Step Brothers. I'm going to give that a six. Four is Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. I'm going to give that a six and a half. Three is The 40-Year-Old Virgin. I'm going to give that a nine. Two is Super Bad. I'm going to give that a ten. One is The Hangover. I'm going to give that an eight. That's, that's my reviews of the top 10 comedies of the 2000s. I, Tropic Thunder not being on the list is criminal. Where's, where's my Tropic Thunder? It must be in the comments. Cool list. Where's Tropic Thunder? I mean, Tropic Thunder should be on the list over Super Troopers or Old School. There, there's no doubt. of It should probably be on the list over any of them. But regardless, what was I doing here? Okay, sorry. Round four, dog. We take those. Roll me. Purchase me. Purchase me. Place me. Top 10 Will Ferrell movies of the 2000s. Wedding Crashers is terrible. It, Wedding Crashers is fine. It's not, it's not like, you know, the funniest movie ever made. But, I mean, it was, uh, it had its moment in cinema, that's for sure. Terrible! I mean, there's, most comedies are pretty ass. Oops. Blades of Fury was better? That's insane. Blades of Fury is, is not as good as the wedding crack. Come on. Blades or Blades of Glory? Napoleon Dynamite and Will Ferrell as, uh, as figure skaters? Come on. I will say, what else should be in there that isn't in there? I agree. Mean Girls should have a place. Cut it. Cut it. I like Will Ferrell. Cut a couple of Will Ferrell movies out of there. Put in um, Mean Girls. Put in Black Dynamite should be in there. Do Forgetting Sarah Marshall should definitely be in there. Dewey Cox should be in there. Hot Fuzz not being in there. That's crazy. This is a horrible list. You're absolutely right. This list is horrendous. I thought that list was pretty good until people started suggesting movies I like a lot more. They don't even have, there's no Borat on the list. They don't even have Borat. I love you, man. That's also, I love you, man is probably better than most of the movies on that list. White chicks should not be on the list. Come on. Don't, we don't have to go through this every time, okay? Definitely, you should take one of these. We got, we got to figure out how to get this going, okay? You're not long for this world. I think you go to give us more gold in order to use the dog more effectively. You can be purchased and then pilled later. Honestly, I'm a simple, like, buy-sell man here. Let's get some stats on this dog. Let's get some attack on this dog, please. And now I would probably... Yeah, yeah, let's, let's run it like this for now. Galaxy Quest! I think Bridesmaids came out in 2010. So that would, it would, it would, they mean the decade, not the millennium. Excuse me, millennium. So I'll, I'll give him a pass on that one. Role models, role models is pretty good. No, I don't think Juana Man should be on the list personally, except list of films that should be banned from cinema forever. <laughs> Jumanji? The hell? Dude, Jumanji came out in like... It's like 1995 or something like that. Don't make me give you my opinion on Goldmember, please. There's no need. We don't have to fight today, okay? I want to roll for dogs. This is our best chance to find a dog. We're going to want to pill this turtle at some point. My God. It's full of stars. Okay, well first, no, wait, save your, wait, no. Huh, mm, just, okay, you know what you can, it's the interesting thing about it is, you could, and then, but in many ways, I'm trying, I'm, I'm turning over too many data points in my head right now. Like in my head, I'm like, okay, we could buy one 
and then sell it and then buy the dog. But then we've kind of wasted some gold that we could have used in order to get more stat points next turn when our dog is level two, but we can't take the gold with us. What you could do is buy the dog. No, that's what I just said is uh, idiotic. It makes no sense. I definitely think that you probably just buy sell. That makes way more sense to me. I think you're absolutely right. You run something like that. I don't even want to tell you what my, my idiot play was. But it looked something like... Um, kill the turtle in front of the weaker dog. And then next turn, combine the dogs on top of the lower dog. So as a result of that, we would keep the melon armor. And in my head, it made a lot of sense. Yes. Okay. You're gone. Like, goodbye. I guess, you know what? You have, like, no stats right now, but I don't care. We'll try something a little silly. Something like this. Definitely, I would add a crocodile to the squad. Definitely, I would freeze you up. I mean, you're literally giving one attack to the dodo in front right now. Let's just add a, a rabbit in there. Get 2 HP right off the bat. Their dog is stronger than mine. Your dog is stronger than mine. That's not really fair. And your dodo is stronger than mine. How could your dog be stronger than mine and your dodo be stronger than mine? How could... How, how could this... It doesn't make sense. Okay, don't buy foods. Even though we, like, like we get rid of the rabbits so we don't buy foods in the future, okay? And then, give me one of these. We don't want the salad. We want snipers. This is a great, a great turn for snipers, and therefore the world is definitely... Man's got to think a little bit. Because you could run a llama here. It's not that hard. But you could also just put a dolphin on the team. Yeah, I'm going to go... Let's go for cool sniper build. Forget this. Remember this. Remember this. Remember this. I had to say... Cricket or, or Dodo is gone, man. Keep that croc to snipe some sharks. There's no links in the pack this week, unfortunately. What a snipe. Holy cow. It's, th this team is me but stronger again, except I think this time it's me but weaker, thankfully. I haven't seen the test server changes, but a lot... <laughs> a lot of people this week have said um, the dog is being nerfed into uh, oblivion. So I should not feel bad about using the dog this week. You're kind of like, you're like a fun unit, but like, I think this is also fun. Like winning is kind of fun. I'm weird like that. He already got nerfed. I mean, the, the problem with the dog, it from, how? The problem with the dog from a balanced perspective is that it's, too good, as soon as you put it in a pack, it like dominates. Well, I, I shouldn't say it dominates the meta, because that's not true, I think. But it usually ends up being like, especially because I'm getting five wins here, apparently. Um, it usually ends up being like a viable archetype to run. So like, it's almost like as soon as you put the dog in a weekly, you don't have to worry about what the weekly is. You just go, okay, I'm just going to, I'm, I'm a a crazy dog cell right now. Maybe we'll work on the phrasing for that a little bit, but you, you get the gist of it, I'm sure. I died. I, I lost? How, did, how is such a thing possible? <laughs> Five wins with this team? I thought we were going to the moon.
So I do support the idea that a dog needs like a little... I mean, I, I don't know if it needs a nerf, but certainly the fact that it's been in... Piece of crap. The fact that it's been in so many weeklies. Hey, Julira, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. I'll be a flexible pianist. And thank you again for the gifted subscriptions. The fact that, it, um, that it's been in so many weeklies has made it overrepresented to the point of being a little bit annoying, I, I would say for sure. But if you nerf it, like how do you nerf it lower than get one stat point at level one for every unit you summon? Like it's, it's, it's unnerfable. I want to fish for a level. Regret? No, small amounts of regret, but not that much regret. There's no casino? You know what? I There's no casino. I clicked the button, but it said error creating prediction. Okay, now, it, now it's running. It's a little unfair because you can see the team, but I think we won one last one anyway. The other thing is, and they've said this in like their balance philosophy before, but like, sure, you can add triggers to something or you could be like, it only works if they're tier ones or you could be like, you know, you could add complexity, but they don't want it to be so complex. They want it to be easy to, pick, uh, easy to be picked up, which I think is also a, a fundamental characteristic of the game. This is really good. Probably the cricket scales better late game. Put you on the squad. And you know what? A, co a croissant for you? Get a couple of rounds of croissant. We're not selling much. Okay. This is a mediocre run. Five incoming. I think anytime you get a giraffe this early, you at least say, we got a chance. Where are my points at? My points disappeared. I can see your bets. My points aren't showing. I don't know what's good. I mean, that's probably why we had an error earlier. Hold on. I have to click on this creative cloud pop-up. But if I click on it, it's going to end my turn. Okay, we have to take our turn first. Give me one of these. I will still take my level. I'm going to have a self-buffing giraffe because I don't think our frilled dragon is long for this world. Can't believe he stole the points. Dude, I don't know. The servers are probably run by the Uber Eats engineering team, man. You don't know how expensive it is to subscribe to AWS and offload all of your work to a third-party vendor. We draw these. I don't really want a dodo. No, I definitely don't want a tamarind. I do appreciate the add on it though. Mm, we could fit something though. Like we could always just go. <laughs> um. Okay. I can't, I can't do the matrix multiplication here. <laughs> it looks kind of clean with it. You don't both need this though. Okay, this, I think this is fine. Forget the jellyfish, I snooze it. I'm looking for more giraffes. Another giraffe would hit the spot. We're getting a lot of stats. Maybe the stats aren't distributed in a perfect world how we would like them to be distributed, but they can also help us win rounds, even if they're not in a perfect world immediately. Bro, the mosquito shot was so lucky. Your whole team falls apart if you don't get that mosquito shot. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's fine. It's our first loss. Sure. No. 
Yes. Yes. Yes, I believe in you. Yeah, yes, yes. I can't buy anything this... T okay, so we were going four squatted. That was not intentional. I'll just own that one. That's the squad. This would be a great round to draw. I'm not stupid enough to think that we're going to win this one. This would be a great round to draw, though. I lived. Okay, we're going to win this one. Yes. Yes. We'll fix the order in a second. Because there's a part of me that's like, you could get a dragonfly popping. You could also get the husky popping. We don't run the husky very often. If you sold... Uh, we can't sell the giraffe. F sell frilled dragon, take dragonfly is the best way to get to 10 wins, I think. However, what about selling giraffe in order to get through... I'm going to sell the frilled dragon... I'm going to buy the dragonfly because I'm not that stupid. I thought about it, though. I thought about it. Okay. Could sell the fish for the dog? I suppose it's a very... You know what? That's a good point. It's an interesting point. And then... We don't have to be so precious with this. We are getting 3-3 three, three out of the husky. And we're getting 3-3 three, three out of the dragonfly. It sucks to not be able to put food on something without losing the buff, though. Sorry, I punched my microphone just waving to the, waving to the delivery. Oh, that's right. Husky's only giving 2-2 two, because two it doesn't buff itself. All right, that's still, it's still good. It's still good. Do you get deliveries every day? Yeah. But I mean, it's because we, we don't go to like a, a Walmart or a, a, a Home Depot or something like that. So we'll just be, you know, every once in a while, we'll just hear like a, a knock on the door. And then we get a little envelope and then I open it up and I'm like, oh, soap. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Look at that soap. Seems inefficient. I don't really understand it, but somehow it ends up being like a lot cheaper than buying it at the store when you just buy it on the internet. I don't understand the economics of it. Suffice to say, if uh, Uber Eats did that, they would be out of business. They would charge you $50 for $8 worth of soap, and then they would be like, we can't turn a profit with these margins. Well, I can't give you held foods without facing a great cost. So how do we scale this team faster? Honestly, you're just not as good. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're just not as good as a second dragonfly. For a number of reasons, because we can then give our bison like uh, lemon or, or garlic. It's just not as good, man. And we don't need any more giraffes. What we need to do is go back to the garlic that we so rudely said no to before. The husky needs, it needs a rework. In my, in my personnel opinion. It needs to give like 2-2 two, two at least. I don't know. That's literally just streamer idiocy. I'm just, on the top of my head, I'm like, yeah, the first idea I came up with with absolutely no research at all, yeah, that probably works. I've never made a game before in my whole life, but here's the change that I would make to fix this unit. Yeah, okay, maybe if it buffed itself, sure. Right? That was not smart. Um, definitely a lion can go off here, though. It's already going to be a 9-9. We're not going to add better units or higher tier units in all likelihood. 
first we're going to go bison, though. Because to the victor go the spoils. That's all I'm going to say about that one. And we should probably buff the lion instead of the cricket. But I don't know. The cricket's kind of earned this so far. You shuffle me? Big what? Look at your bison. I don't have to hide my bison in the back. Unlike you, because I am a stud. I got the bison on turn five. When it's a shop that introduced me. Garlic lemon. Holy cow. We should. We should. We should. This is a great shop. Get to the bison. I'm a bison, you idiot. That, that, for some reason, I can't do that one. That, that one doesn't work for me. That's a good team, man. That's a good team. It's good enough to draw. I'll take a pizza. I don't mind a pizza. Now I mind a pizza because I really want chocolate. Mm, actually, melon goes pretty hard, too. Feel free to screenshot. Okay. You should be buffing the lion with the giraffe. You should be uh, adding a little bit more sodium chloride next time. If you catch my drift. Plus two. He's on today. Dude, my brain was broken yesterday. I don't know if my chess video has gone up. I was not seeing the board very well. <laughs> yesterday, I, I did not have... Uh, I did not have my maximum normal intellectual capacities as as uh, meager as they are. Today, I'm feeling a little better for sure. Just had a little bit of the... Had the stanky brain yesterday. I did have two brilliant moves in Bullet. One, actually, one of the funniest things about that is that those moves came within three seconds of one another. So I legitimately... It, I mean, it's the strongest three seconds of chess gameplay I've ever had in my life. In three seconds, I got two brilliant moves? Come on. Now we move the bison back. The bison's already... He's 50-50, man. This is an insane team. <laughs> this team is incredible. Did you have some crudite to restore brain power? No, I can't afford it anymore. Because a head of broccoli is $2. And, geez, $6 for a, for a container of salsa? Must be a shortage on salsa somewhere. Ozers. <laughs> Watching that video as a Canadian blew my mind. I was like, holy shit, food in America is actually pretty damn cheap. It's like $4 for guacamole? You guys don't know how good you got. I get that the American dollar is worth more than the Canadian dollar, but I'm like, geez Louise, man. Dude held up like 30 carrots and was like, that's another $4 right there. I'm like, that's $4? Yeah, you can't put asparagus in a crudite anyway. You don't eat asparagus raw. It's just, it, it's very strange. Dipping raw asparagus in guacamole. I mean, throw it on the grill, then add some balsamic vinegar or something like that. Then we're talking. Sorry, sorry. I'm trying to delete it. I don't want to win too fast, because I feel like a level 3 lion is something I've never had before. So I'd actually love to lose this one, which is why I'm rolling. It's not because my head's empty. There you go. Lose. Lose. Come on. Is this your... Look, I even scaled the wrong units. I scaled a unit that was overscaled. Please? Can you just kill me? Oh my god. This, this is Earth's strongest champion. Wow, thanks a lot. Game one, turn 14, 10 wins, too strong, my team's too good. He's done it again. 28% of people bet on a 10 piece there.
You find more people in the chips and soda section of the grocery store in America than you do in the produce section. Yeah, because in the produce section, you don't have to comparison shop. I need carrots. Oh, am I going to get Hostess carrots? Am I going to get Dorito carrots? Am I going to get Pepsi carrots? No, you just go to the carrots. You pick up the carrots. In the snack aisle, you got to actually ask yourself some questions. Do I feel like Snyder's pretzel nuggets? Do I feel like Miss Vicky's malt vinegar chips? Am I in a Harvest Cheddar Sun Chip mood? Maybe I just want some Oreos or something like that. In the produce section, there's no, there's no choice. It's just... Do you want to buy non-organic or do you want to buy organic and then scan them as non-organic in the self-checkout? Okay, start a prediction. How many wins will we get this time? Do you have to weigh your produce? I, um, I mean like a lot of grocery stores still have the scale where you can weigh your produce. Yeah, almighty turtle. Um, but like, I I haven't used the scale at a grocery store in a long time. I think it's because for me, as soon as you touch a piece of fruit in the in the world of the the never ending pandemic, that piece of fruit now belongs to you. I would never take a piece of fruit and then put it back in the in the hopper. At that, I, mean, I don't even think it's like unsanitary necessarily, but if you picked one up and you touched it and it was rotten, then that's a different story. But to pick it up and then be like, oh, I took one too many and then just put a perfectly fine mango back on the shelf, I would be like, nah, man, I just on it. You can do it. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying I don't feel comfortable doing it. You're supposed to wash them? I mean, I, I, ever since the food poisoning, I've been much more diligent about washing my foods, but still. I just, it just seems like common courtesy to me as you only touch something you intend to take. What about splitting the banana bunch? No, I'm not a uh, psycho. I do not um, split the banana bunch and then leave a bunch of like two bananas or the truly insane one ripping an egg carton in half because you only need six eggs and then leaving half of an egg carton in the cooler. That We live in a society, okay? We have rules. We have a giraffe. We have a hulk. You know what? I'll take my level. You know what? I'll take... Yeah. Yeah, I'll take this. I don't mind that. What about checking each of the eggs? I mean, if you gotta check the egg, I'm not gonna, I don't do it, but that's more out of laziness than anything else. If you're standing in the grocery store checking 12 eggs, I think that's, you know, that's your prerogative, okay? It's not something I'm gonna spend my time doing, but maybe you had a really bad experience as a kid. You have to. I've, I've been getting away with not doing it, but maybe I'm the, maybe I'm the exception to the rule. Hold on, I'm adding you. I'm rolling you. You know what? I'm taking one of these. I'm adding a bat to the squad. We're rolling a snail for two rounds. Have you ever cracked an egg and had blood pour out? Yeah, but do you have x-ray vision? How are you going to spot that in the grocery store? I do have x-ray vision. Well, then why do you need to open the carton? Your x-ray vision can't see through cardboard. Hey, McFly, those things don't work on water. I'm just trying to understand here. Ah, whatever. Yeah. I'll wait a round. I'll wait one round for that. Level three? I mean, you know what I'm about to say? I'm about to say maybe we're about to get another bison. I'm sorry, your squad has been deemed insufficient. Try again next time. That's not a bison, that's a damn lobster. It, if the lobster was a chicken, I would take it. It doesn't make any sense. 
it still doesn't make any sense. No matter how much you type pog. Wait, you're right, we can get another one. All right, now that's a little better. At least you scale. I don't know what I would have you kill. How do you feel about the movie Hot Tub Time Machine? Everyone makes fun of me for crying at the end of Black Panther, but I actually, I didn't cry, but I got a little misty when I saw Hot Tub Time Machine in theaters. Because the end of that movie, they use the Hot Tub Time Machine to, the loser of the friend group uses the hot tub time machine to go back in time and like undo a paradox. But when he goes back in time, he also relives his life to be uh, like better so that he's not such a loser. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? I got a little misty at the end of, uh, of hot tub time machine. When Rob Corddry owns a yacht, I cry a little. What can I say? All right, anyway, I think... Let's sacrifice the mosquito if we have to. You served your purpose. I don't want... I want to roll. Ah, shit. <laughs> uh, no. I still... The bat's just way better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is... Good choices. Good choices. Put a mantis in position three. All right. All right, you troll. I cried when Chris Pratt couldn't take his dinosaur back in Jurassic World. I cried in fear in Jurassic World Dominion when Chris Pratt did this to a dinosaur and it didn't, it didn't lose any aggression. I was like, oh shit, this is the final boss. This, this dinosaur evolved to be able to not be affected by this move right here. Oh my, this must be, this is like the Thanos of dinosaurs. I mean, you do this, you do this. If you gotta do this just for some stats, then you do it. Hmm. You just, the, the reason I'm not gonna take a bison is just because we recently took a bison. Let's mix it up. We're not going bison again. Let's prove we're not a one trick pony. We can win in multiple ways. Owned. <laughs> oh, man. So I've just heard my door open and close ten times. Are we are we under siege right now? Apparently not. I'm not gonna buy any of these. I sleep on these. I'd love to see, you know what? A flamingo could do something. And a turtle could do something. Think you gotta okay, here's what I'm thinking. I think we pill you. <laughs> Not here. Good point. That's you know what? That's a good point. We pill you. Kill a giraffe to run a dragonfly for better scaling. And then if the dragonfly kills the or if it buffs the giraffe, what I would say in that situation is get used to it. Because we're gonna have a level one here at all times. It's a strong team. It's a strong team. I have nothing else to say about that. This team is strong. It's stronger than mine. Do you like this weekly? I would say I'm, I'm modestly positive on this weekly. Now, we run the squad like this. Mantis needs to scale a little faster. You need to have some lemon. Roll me. You could use some lemon. You're about to... No, you don't need any lemon. It's fine. It's fine. Skip shark. Shark is like the turkey tiger fly of this weekly. Anytime I see a shark, I'm like, okay, honestly, like I understand. You've reached a point in your life where all you're concerned with is, is winning. I'm not really mad at you because I, I understand what would drive a person to that level. But I choose to... I choose to not just take it every time.
choose to be a little bit more creative. I hope that doesn't offend you. Better Mantis. Walrus starts to kick off right about now. Four, four, two, one. Meh, meh. I'd rather, I'd rather not. Um, okay. I mean, to be honest, this is going to sound crazy. You could get an extra 1-1 one, one buff from a giraffe if you bought it here and just placed it right. I think I would rather just take another bat and basically pay three gold for one extra sickness potentially and still be able to get a level three bat. Like, that's just stupid. I prefer that to killing the dragonfly, I think. Plus, one of the reasons I prefer it is definitely because it's weird. That gives it a huge leg up for me. You don't need two frozen? I would disagree with you because this one's about to get killed by the mantis. Okay, then you go level three. We're not going to kill a gorilla. Anything here killable? Not really. Let's take best player available. Dude, level three bat. When I get out, there's going to be carnage. <laughs> there's a... Yoink. Friend faints. Give one random... Okay, so I see what you're going to say. You're going to say to me what you do here is you kill the dragonfly. And I'm going to say to you that I believe you're absolutely correct. I don't think we have a ton of time for the Spinosaurus to pop. But let's give it a chance anyway. Not a big deal. Actually, your ass should be gone. Let's give somebody death touch. The only thing is I would love it if you didn't overwrite the melon. It's a very good team. Saved? Saved? Lemon? I don't really mind. Melon? Melon I would prefer not to lose. That's, that's perfect. And then let's move you up a little bit. Um, well, no. Eh, I should put you at the back. That makes more sense. So you do give something on death. We could give garlic. You know what? You come here. A little cheese on the bat. Anybody up cheese in their bat right now? This team is too good for me. Still too... Or, or is it? Or is it? Oh, you don't buff yourself, huh? We were actually close on that one. This is like the one time chocolate's not that good. It's the thinking man's position to be in here. Mammoth was strictly better. Okay, go write an essay on r slash super auto pets. Get eight upvotes. And then, uh, you know, enjoy the basking in the glow of your newfound karma for the rest of the day. I'm working on it right now. Roll me. You know what? We only have one turn to make an impact. I actually think you could just take a crocodile. I think it's more important to take a snake. We'll see how she goes. Crocodile could get a kill, but snake could break like two melon armors. That would require them to have melon armor. We still win this. That's, dude, who needs a bison? Who needs a bison, dude? Two ten pieces in a row, big whoop. I mean, you can't end on a win like that. You gotta run it back. You can't end on a win and you can't end on a loss. The two tenets of science. Let me be a sold handbag. By the way, I'd like to say rip to the Ferrari owners in chat. 
Did you know that Ferrari had to recall almost every vehicle that they produced from 2005 until 2021? I'd like to apologize to the Ferrari um, drivers in chat. It turns out they have a potentially catastrophic uh, flaw in a brake line cap where all of their brake fluid can leak out and make it so their brakes don't work. Which isn't really that big of a problem because those cars typically aren't driven too fast and at like, you know, 2 a.m. And they're, they're not, they're definitely not predominantly used to signal to other people how wealthy you are even though it's leased while you're at a red light going why it's by design right it's by design that a ferrari sounds like that at when it is accelerating to 15 kilometers an hour in the city yes okay just checking loud pipes save lives right We have had two wins in a row. What do you think about going psycho team? <laughs> no, please no. I war chested. Why? Uh, whatever. One of these real quick. Give you one of those. Give you one of those real quick. And then I'm like, definitely we're going to freeze both of these guys right here. And we're going to figure out how this is going to pop. It's going to pop though. I like your car impressions. Thank you. I've got several. And this is the part where I will say them. <laughs> Here's my impression of a Tesla in reverse. How's that? Is that good? So true. Pretty good. Okay, okay. I don't have any other ones. <laughs> I got nothing, man. Slash moment, I was here for the Tesla impression. Nope, still doesn't exist. Do a bicycle impression? Can I tell you, this is like so minor, but that's also kind of like, it's my personality. I understand the purpose of a bicycle bell is to go... What the heck's going on out here? Oh, okay. My wife's hosing down the side of the house. Um, I understand the purpose of a bicycle bell. When you're biking, people like to walk in the bike lane and then look at their phones and they have their headphones in cranked up as loud as they could possibly go. You got to be able to bell them to be like, please get out of my way so I don't hit you. Um, but I've also encountered an epidemic of people that are just using their bike bells because they think the bell is just something you hit when you are on a bicycle, which is very annoying as a pedestrian. That sometimes you'll just be like crossing the street and you'll hear ding, 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 ding. And you'll see like a like a 30 year old on a bike stopped at the red light, just smashing the bell. And I'm like, you're you're not moving. Don't, yeah, don't Hector Salamanca me. It's like, basically like honking your horn. The reason you, you hit the bell is to let other people know, be aware of what's going on around you. You don't just hit the bell to be like, hey, everybody, I'm having a fun time riding the bicycle, because then it's like the bell that cried wolf. Then when people start hearing bells, they're going to get desensitized to the bells. And they're going to end up getting clipped. And it's going to be their fault for walking in the bike lane. I do see a lot of people walking in the bike lane. I think they think that like the bike lane is like a, a fancy sidewalk. They're like, well, I could walk on the sidewalk, but there's a lot of people there. Look at this. Little fancy sidewalk separated from the road. The, the VIP sidewalk. The elite sidewalk. I'm not taking the normie sidewalk. Put me on this one. It's even got... It's even got like a, a white circle with a bicycle on it. Must I, I don't really know what that means. The side sidewalk. Sorry, I kind of lost focus for a minute there. You know what? Why don't you take a cookie to buff the blowfish? And then check this out. Roll me. Why not? Oh, but I'm like, you could take a cookie. Take a cookie. 
sell our mosquito to buff the hedgehog. And now <laughs> our units are slightly better, but this team still does not look very good, but it looks very drawable. It seems like a great team to add a B to. Oh no. Hold on, with a blowfish, we could we could win this one. No! 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 Give me some honey, please. I don't want I don't want your units. I don't want your your sympathy. I don't want your pity. Let me get some salads, of course. We got pineapples coming soon. That actually seems pretty important. <laughs> Probably try and, and a pineapple here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, this can work, man. This can work. This team's going off. Oh no. Um a camel? Let's go! We've done it. Okay, 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 okay. Pineapple. Meat. Honestly, I kinda like what you got going on, but I gotta I gotta think about it. <laughs> hmm, sell your best unit to add a hedgehog? Yes. Yes, I think I will. This team cannot lose. It can definitely draw. And I think the jury's out on whether or not it can win. But I'll tell you one thing. It's not losing. <laughs> oh, man. All right, you're gone. And then you're on the squad. <laughs> and then now I would really like like a salad because you're not going to live too long. All right, that's unfortunate. I don't know. Um, I mean, many people would tell you this is probably not a sensible idea, but sure. Man, they got so much HP. That's a real problem uh, for you. For you, I said. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, so close. Okay. How are we, how we going to live? Somebody needs some honey, man. We need like a backline unit with some honey. I know we just had honey, but it's like... like a, it's, not, it's not that easy, okay? I don't really want you to do that much damage. Let's keep you as your own dude right now. We can't take a sniper. They're, they're, it's, it, that's not what gives us the chance to win. I don't know what gives us a chance to win, quite frankly. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> sure, okay. There's something, there's something to it. Take a camel? No, I like, I don't like taking units that suck, okay? I don't think we're getting there on this one. Okay, hear me out. The lion makes so much sense, but does it make as much sense as another hedgehog? All we need is a team that doesn't have hurt triggers and then we're fine. Hold on, please, please kill the shark. You gotta kill the shark. You gotta kill the shark. The shark's dead. Their blowfish is dead. Ooh. 
I do kind of want to scale you, but I also want to scale the blowfish. Alright, these are not relevant. Relevant? Relevant? I feel like there's some relevancy here. This team is way too good. We're dead. It's not even, like, up for debate. We didn't lose by that much considering we were against Dog, Giraffe, Hippo, the ultimate scumbag team, but still lost. Now, why don't you take one of those? Honestly, I think you got no chance. Roll me. And we could use a little extra HP on the squad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sabretooth? Sabretooth makes too much sense. I really should have gone for it. You're absolutely right. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. We can do this one. Give me my HP. Yeah, you shoot me, I shoot you. You shoot me, I shoot you. You shoot you. You shoot me, I shoot you. You shoot me, then I shoot you. We can't win this one. Are you crazy? Look at this squad. We can't beat this team. They got a 40-34 tropical fish. Still pretty good. That was a fun run. That's a good run to actually go out on. Let me get five on that one. I'm going to go to the bathroom. When we come back, we'll be playing uh, Cult of the Lamb.